So you're thinking about moving to the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach area, or just thinking about vacationing here, or you will just want to know everything there is to know about living here. Uh, well, we are here to tell you everything there is to know about living in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores area, and the surrounding areas. Um, today, we are going to talk about breakfast. We've talked about a lot here. We've talked about wings. We've talked about pizza. We've talked about cheeseburgers, you know, uh, cheeseburgers all the all the dinner stuff but we have not discussed breakfast breakfast is the most important meal of the day so you know um so let's talk about some breakfast places we didn't want to necessarily do a whole top 10 list um i i did like a you know top five you know some of my favorite places but then i do have some other places that we could mention yeah We'll have um, some honorable mentions. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, we're going to take that into consideration and let's. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, um, just make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so you can be the first ones notified about the current market situation in the Orange Beach Gulf Shores area and all the surrounding areas too. Uh, we do, this is, I'm Mandy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain, my partner, and we do videos just like this every week. So we'll give you all the information you need to know about, you know, moving to the area, living in the area, um, any, even vacationing in the area. Um, we're with EXP Realty. And like I said, we do, we do these videos every week just to be informative, just to let people know, you know, all the stuff there is to know, all the ins and outs. The goods what it's and the like bad. to really live here. Absolutely. Uh, we love it. I mean, we get calls and emails and texts and everything from people just like you every single day. And we absolutely love it. I mean, we just love it. So don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call us if it's nine days or 90 days before you're thinking about making your move. Please give us a call shoot us a text, shoot us an email, schedule a Zoom call so you can talk to us face to face. We'd love to talk to you and help you make a smooth move to our little slice of paradise. Okay, so Aileen, today we're going to talk about breakfast. I mean, it is the most important meal of the day. So, um, I mean, it's best served with a mimosa, in my opinion. Well, yeah, it, you know, a vodka orange juice or a, I, I'm not really a Bloody Mary kind of guy because I don't really like tomato juice, but I know, you know, a lot of people love them. Number five on my list is actually uh, in Perdido Key. It's in, in, in a rarity point. A lot of people don't think about it for breakfast, but Hub Stacy. Um, I had no clue that they served breakfast until I saw your, your list. And yeah, listen, it's unbelievable. Hub Stacy for breakfast? Yeah. What are you, are you kidding me? I had no clue. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's unbelievable. And they give you so much. I mean, it just, it's, it's a lot of breakfast. Not only is it good, it's just a lot of breakfast. It's a cool little spot. It has made a lot of our lists. Oh my God. Yeah. Hub Stacy is phenomenal to me. Um, number four on my list is actually Ruby Slipper. Um, now again, Ruby Slipper, they don't take reservations for breakfast, but they should. If you're listening, no, Ruby that, Slipper. That's so, yeah. <laughs> so actually the deal with Ruby Slipper is they want you to uh, go online and put your name on the list. So then when you get there, you're already on the list, but they won't officially check you until you get there. Ah, Believe me, gotcha. I go to Ruby Slipper enough to, to know. Yeah. They have a, a butter for their biscuit. It's It's got like a caramel taste to it. It's like a caramel butter. Yeah. It is out of this world. Well, and, and the they bacon. Have, they have a mimosa flight. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. And then, and then they have the, the mimosa that's made the Ruby Slipper way, which has yeah. got like a... a little bit of pomegranate or something in it uh number three uh i'm gonna put this on the list even though i, I know this is this is probably a no-no i'm gonna put this on the list i have not eaten there but i've heard so much about it is oh so early that's funny i mean i've not eaten there but everybody on this island tells me that it is the place to go for breakfast well, i mean it just but I'm, that's funny that you say that because I saw it on your list. I assumed you'd been there. No, never and been there. I haven't been there either, which is crazy because <laughs> he's right. Everyone locally talks about oh so early. Yeah. I guess we both need to go to we oh need so, to go so early, early for early, breakfast. Yeah. And no doubt. I mean, I'm game, but I, I so just So it's, it's on the list, but neither one of us have been there. Right. But <laughs> it's talked about so much, we couldn't leave it off the list. We'd have got, gotten blown up. Oh, there's no doubt. We would have gotten our local car removed. No doubt. No doubt. We'd have to move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then number two on my list is uh, actually in Gulf Shores. It's uh, Kitty's Cafe. Kitty's Cafe never disappoints. No. And 
you can actually get breakfast at Kitty's any time of the day. It's kind of like Waffle House. You can go there and get breakfast anytime you Kitty's want to. Kitty's is number two on my list. It's it's they, fantastic. They have a homemade chicken pot pie that comes with a biscuit, and it is it is so good. Yes. But uh, everything on there, and if Kitty's is watching, will you please bring back that ha hash brown casserole? Oh, you can get it. But you can only get it on the weekends or on holidays. Oh, that's the well, can only time you bring you it back every day. Yeah. But like that, it's it's one of the it's probably the best thing on your menu besides the chicken pot pie. Keep, What's keep up? that in mind. So if you want the hash brown casserole, you have to get it on weekends or the ho or well, holidays. Well, um, thank you for informing that. Yeah. Kitty's is right around the corner from me, and it's probably number two on my list. Well, it's number two on your list too. And also, they have uh, two dollar. Uh, mimosas, two dollar vodka orange juice, two dollar uh, Bloody Marys all day every if day. If you're ranking affordability, it, it's number one. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, you cannot beat their prices. Yeah, and it's also hard to get into. It you is. cannot make reservations. Just be prepared for a wait. It's a small little restaurant. But they get the food to you fast, and it's and it's oh my god, it's so good. It, it's always consistent, and the prices are are amazing. So yeah. yes. Well, number one on my list, hands down, without a doubt, is Duck's Diner. Duck's Diner is, I, I did not, I had been living here for about five years before I ever found out about Duck's Diner. Well, that's because it sits a little bit off the road in front of Cocoa Island Furniture on Canal Road. And so you, 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 you will immediately be like, oh, I've seen that place. Right. But you drive past it all the time and you may not. But Duck's Diner has really good food. They're very reasonable priced yes i forget about it myself all the time because i end up going to ruby slipper or kitties and uh but duck signer is is definitely uh worth being on the on the top five absolutely list for sure. and for you golfers there's a golf course right behind it so disclaimer um, it's a nine hole par three so you better your short game better be good if yeah. you go <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah duck signer is number one uh, just there are some honorable mention brick and spoon. Brick and spoon is definitely honorable mention. It's good, and I've heard if you like Bloody Marys, they have the best. I've Bloody had Mary the Bloody period. Mary. The Bloody Mary's excellent. Um, I say if, if we're gonna name a con, it's not their food. It's really loud in there. It didn't want to get off this list without mentioning Tacky Jacks. Tacky Jacks has a, a pretty good breakfast. They their do. farmer's omelet is yep. uh, amazing. Uh, you know, and again. They've got one of the best bushwhackers. They were in my top five. I and think, I guess so. other than Hub Stacy's, it'd be the only one you could have a, a breakfast with a view, right? Um, yeah, more or less. I mean, you know, at Ducks, no, there's no. not much of a view. Uh, oh, so early, really. Kitties, you're looking at the park a lot. Well, that's going to do it for our breakfast places. And uh, again, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Orange Beach or moving to the area or Gulf Shores area, then make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the little bell for notification, and uh, you'll be the one of the first ones to know about, you know, to learn everything there is to know about living in our, our little slice of paradise. Um, and until next time, see you around town.